Good day. Welcome to our fourth module. In this presentation, we will discuss some of the common facilities present in every cattle or water buffalo farms. At the end of this module, you are expected to identify the different handling, feeding, and watering facilities, identify the housing per production system, and identify the space requirement of animal per production system. Production facilities include all physical facilities and the housing systems that are used in the farm for the maintenance of the animal and for the production of its product, the beef or milk in the case of our large ruminants. For the convenience of discussion, let us divide them based on their main use in the farm such as those used for handling purposes, those used to deliver feed and water, and the common housing units. This module is divided into two parts. In this part, we will show you the basic facilities in a large ruminant farm, and on the second part of the module, we will discuss the different housing systems available and used in the large ruminant industry. To start with, let us discuss the different handling facilities. The handling facility is the facility in the farm where the farmer, cattlemen, or the veterinarians direct, sort, or handle the animal based on the needed production management. Routine handling is necessary for dosing, vaccination, condition scoring, herd testing, and many other farm operational activities. The safety and the health of both the animals and the people working them need to be considered in any time cattle or water buffalo are handled. Note that large ruminants often outweigh the operator by a considerable amount, thus a good handling facility is a must in every large ruminant farms. The handling facility includes but not limited to the head gate, holding chute, working chute, crowding pen, holding pen, scales, and loading chute. The layout of the handling facility varies depending on the needs of the farm. The head gate is the most important part of the entire working facility. It should be sturdy, safe, easy to operate, and work smoothly and quietly. The head gate is for restraining animals securely and safely during treatment. They range from manual models to self-catching and hydraulic models. They need to be quick, easy to operate, and adjustable for different sizes of cattle. The holding chute or the squeeze chute is located immediately behind the head gate and secured to it. The holding chute should also be adjustable for different size animals. The sole purpose of the squeeze chute together with the head gate is to restrain the animal so that any desired management practice can be safely conducted on the animal. In the backyard setting, the head gate and the holding chute is made up of either bamboo or galvanized tube. The size is just enough for the carabao or cattle to get inside and limit its movement. The working chute, or sometimes called the race, connects the holding chute and the holding pen. The working chute holds the cattle in single file ready to enter the head gate or squeeze. Ideally, it should be long enough to line up and hold at least 4 to 5 animals. Some cattle owners prefer to have it curved so animals cannot see the head gate or the holding chute ahead. Note that chutes must be narrow enough to prevent cattle from turning. Here is another example of a working chute showing the space available per animal. This should be unidirectional and the space and design make the animals turning back impossible. Next is the crowding pen. The crowding pen is located at the back of the working chute. And this is the crowding pen. This area will hold 5 or 6 head of cattle. The pen should form a gradual V as it approaches the working chute so that the cattle will be directed to the working chute. A solid crowding gate should be used to push the animals from the V into the working chute. Next is the holding pen. The holding pen will allow for faster handling of cattle as they can be sorted and held prior to moving into the crowding pen. They can also prevent the mixing of treated cattle back into the main herd. So you can see, this is the holding pen. Scales or the weighing scale measures the weight of the cattle or water buffalo. The scale can be located in the main chute or close by where cattle can be easily diverted into them. 
Some commercial squeezes have weight bars mounted under them to provide scale-squeeze combination. Finally, we have the loading chute or ramp. This facility is important especially when it comes of transferring the animal to a truck. This can be placed coming off the working chute or out of the holding pens. Please take note that cattle don't like climbing so a ramp should not be steeper than 30 degrees. Loading is also much easier if the cattle are in single file and there is a flat platform at the top of the ramp for them to step on or off the truck from. Next, we move to the other facilities and this is the feeding facility. Feeding facilities are the facilities in the farm that is used to deliver the food to the animal. In constructing feeding facilities, factors to be considered are the labor efficiency when the feed is given to the animal, a good drainage, and protection of both feed and animals from bad weather. Feeding trough should be placed along the sides of the feeding corral to fill them with feed without entering the area. Here, you can see that the troughs are located outside the corral along the aisle. Trough should be strong, tight, and with right shape and proportion. The feeding trough should also be capable of holding grass or concentrate feeds. Take note that the animals should have access only to one side of the trough. The following space allowance should be observed. 76 cm per dehorned animal, 107 cm per horned animal, and 61 cm per calf. Nowadays, feed troughs are made of concrete because they are more durable and a lot easier to clean. Like any other production animals, large ruminants require a reliable supply of good quality water and should always be made available at all times or ad libitum. They should be, in most cases, different from the feeding trough to avoid the wetting of the feed. The waterer should be located at the place accessible to all animals. Waterers may be made from poured concrete, either round or rectangular, rough galvanized metal tanks, or as simple as these plastic tanks. And that ends our short discussion about the first part of Module 4, which is composed of the different handling, feeding, and watering facilities. You may now proceed to the second part of this module, which will discuss the housing units.